Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Mad Dog Fishing. Hey, I got y'all out here in my shop tonight. Uh, Want to talk to you a few about a few things, uh, some upcoming videos uh, that we'll be posting in the next few weeks, product reviews. During the winters, it, as you know, it's when I break down a lot of my reels, do a lot of reel maintenance, get everything ready for the upcoming fishing season. Uh, tonight I'm out here, I've been tying up some, some flies for fly fishing in the surf. Uh, I, I did a little bit of it this year. I didn't have much success. It was either super windy or the surf was really dirty and really only had maybe 10 days this year that the surf was decent. And I had a lot of big fish follow my flies, but they would not take it. And I couldn't figure out why. It was frustrating. So I came out here. I've, I've done some updating on my fly fishing on tying flies. I've got this one. I don't know how well you can see that. It's got a lot of flash to it. It's got the big barbell eyes. This is a fly to be worked fast in the surf for Spanish mackerel, bluefish, ladyfish, and really anything that that cruises in the surf. It's, like I said, this is going to be a fast fly for working in the surf. And I'm really excited to give it a try. I'm fixing to tie up four or five of them. Uh, also, we got the upcoming pompano season, and one of my bucket list fish to catch on a fly rod is a pompano. And so I've been working on uh, these flies. Uh, I don't know how well you can see them, but I'm excited to try them. I've got a couple of different patterns I'm going to try out this year and hopefully have success with it. Uh, we've caught plenty of pompano in the surf on conventional and, and spinning tackle. But this year, I, I want to catch a pompano on a fly rod, get that marked off my bucket list. It's going to be it's going to be my main focus for a while. Uh, we're going to put out some, some baits for pompano, but while we're waiting, I'm definitely going to be doing some fly fishing. And, of course, we I tied up some clousers. Uh, these are a must-have in any saltwater fly fisherman's fly arsenal. Uh, they're a proven fly. They work for uh, speckled trout, white trout, uh, flounder, just about anything. So that's what I'm out here doing tonight, guys, just tying up some flies, getting ready for the upcoming uh, spring and summer. But what I wanted to talk to you tonight about was, guys, we scored big this weekend. I've been looking for a couple of reels uh, that we could use offshore kayak fishing without using our expensive reels. Now, in the past, we've used these Ambassador 7000. This is a 7000i. And then I have an uh, Ambassador 7000 C3. Now, these are great reels. We use them surf fishing a lot. You see them a lot in our videos. Surf fishing, we use them uh, a little bit offshore kayak fishing or near shore kayak fishing and but guys these are a pain in the butt when they when they get wet they have to be completely broke down because they are not a sealed reel and they're just not really built for saltwater fishing they're they're built more for freshwater big lakes uh and but anyway they're a great reel they're just expensive and they're a pain in the butt to take apart but we scored two of these pin Jigmaster 500s. I've got one that was assembled in China and one that was assembled in the USA. Now the one that was assembled in the USA, this is an older reel. Uh, it, you can tell it's, it's, been, it's been used quite a bit. Uh, cosmetically, it looks worn. As uh, far as working order, it still works flawlessly. The great thing about these reels, they are easy to maintenance, they're easy to take apart, and the parts are readily available, and they've been around since the 70s. They're a dependable reel. They'll get the job done. So this is, you know, we picked up two of these for $40, $20 a piece. I think it's a phenomenal deal for these reels, and I'm excited to get them cleaned up and get some fresh line on them and get them out in the surf and put them to the test and we'll I'll do a you know maybe another video a few months down the road let you know how things are going with them I've never personally I've never used the Jigmaster I've used other pin reels uh, 
but I'm, you know, I've never used the 500, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. They make a good surf reel, and they make a good trolling reel. So we're going to put it to the test this year for sure. Well, guys, thanks for for hanging in there with us. We picked up 400 subscribers this year, and it's just been one blessing after another. Uh, I, you know, we, we started off doing this as a hobby. Uh, we're a small YouTube outfit. We're learning as we go. We're up to three cameras now. Uh, we got one set up that we're going to be doing some underwater footage, and we're going to be doing that tomorrow. We're doing some recreational kayaking in a refuge. There's no fishing, but the water's crystal clear, and it is loaded with some fish. So I'm excited. Hopefully the weather's going to hold out, and we're going to be able to get that footage for you tomorrow. Uh, just some places. So if you come down to visit the Gulf Shores or the Gulf Shores area, it'll be, and you're interested in the kayaking, this will be a place you can go and just take your family. There's no fishing. There's no camping. There's, uh, there's a lot of rules to it, but it's, it's phenomenal, and I can't wait to share that with you. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to Mad Dog Fishing. Thanks for supporting us, and hopefully... This year, it'll get better. I look back at some of our old videos, and they're awful. They really are. But our editing's getting better. Like I said, we're new to this. So, we're, you know, it's, it's a growing process. We're, we're getting better, getting better views with having three different cameras from three different angles. And we try to keep all three uh, cameras going at once so we can get you the best possible view uh, when we're fishing. And I'm learning to communicate more when, when, when I'm recording so that y'all know what's going on and but it like i said it's been a learning process the editing's been a learning process we're updating our software uh so it, it's getting a little bit better each and every day and this year i hope to come out with some shirts uh but that's just neither here nor there right now uh that is not why i got this channel started uh i mainly i started this channel just to share with you guys that are coming down for vacation, uh, if you're coming in from out of town, you want to surf fish, or you want to kayak fish, just kind of help you get started in the right direction. I'm not a professional at this. I'm not even that great at it, but I will share with you the things that I learned, the mistakes that I've made to help you have a more successful fishing trip when you're down in this area. And usually what works here, we are pretty much work along the Gulf Coast from you know Panama City on over to uh, Mobile. So but anyway, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you in the morning.